what's going on move the mouse here back in city skylines the town of rockdale episode number 15 back with a little less delay than uh, the gap between the last two episodes so in the previous episode and then we can actually see an airplane taking off right now we uh we dropped our airport in way over here in the south part of the city we are currently sitting at eighty-one thousand five hundred. And we're waiting to get to 90,000 before we can drop in the International Airport and the Monuments. So I thought this episode, um, I've, I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of things that we need to do. But one of the things that I would really like to set up is some more overground train. So we've got a, a network of train that started here in the, the center of our, our first part of the town. And that runs all the way around here. There's a stop there comes over here and there's a stop over here it loops up to our industrial and that track splits off for cargo and commuter trains and then it comes back down through here for one more station before it loops up back in the center there so I do want to extend train coverage out to our circular city at some point but but this is a really dense area we're having some traffic problems and as a result some noise pollution problems. You can see they kind of come and go because we've got good healthcare coverage. People get sick from the noise, but then uh, they get healed. So you can actually see the ambulances. Oh, those are police cars. You'll see the ambulances like come pick up people and, and it solves that problem. As long as there's good healthcare coverage, you know, you can still have... I was hoping they were going to stop there. You can still have uh, a healthy enough area if you've got good medical coverage. But you can see it keeps popping up here and there. Um, the noise pollution problem. So we want to look for ways to reduce uh, the, the road traffic and metro, obviously. Uh, bus can help a bit, uh, but I want to do a train network around this other half of our city here and figure out how we want to link that up. So we have the uh, train down here. I think it would make sense to have a, a train stop right as close to the, uh, the, uh, the airport as possible here. So let's figure out a way where we can get a stop in here. Maybe a stop on the south part of the city. We'll try and do one towards the east residential area and west residential areas and then link it back up over here. So I think that's our project for today. I did uh, the tiniest of little changes offline. I know uh, some people aren't fans of that, but I did some really small things. And I'll, I'll pause it here for a second uh, just to talk about those real quick. So. All I did was uh, I went in and made sure our healthcare coverage was good. I think I dropped in one hospital. I'm trying to remember which one it was, but you know, it's it's just a matter of kind of looking at where you have green coverage. Those are where the the ambulances can get to easy. So as we start to build this section out, you know, we'll we'll put one over here so that there's coverage for this area. Uh, this area actually uh, is is the only thing that I built offline. Is I connected kind of a 90 degree bend here and then did some cross streets and some really basic zoning because I had a lot of demand, uh, but that was the only thing I did. Not not a real serious build, um, just, just kind of plopped that in there. And then the other thing I did was uh, just zoned off this. This was all built already, it just wasn't zoned for uh, anything. And we had a huge industrial demand, so I built some uh, office space in there to calm that down a bit. But other than that, you did not miss anything offline. Uh, let's get to work. You know, we, uh, sorry, and, and I got sidetracked already. Um, I looked at health, I looked at fire, and I looked at police and just made sure coverage was there. Um, we were good in good shape on those. Um, we were kind of hurting for schools. So I dropped a couple elementary schools in. And uh, high school coverage was pretty good. We dropped one high school, I think, in down here. But no major uh, architectural changes or, uh, you know, kind of mapping of roads or anything like that. Big project for today is how to get this train to uh, to stop at the airport and then continue on around our city. So um, maybe let's try and figure out where to squeeze in some train stops first. So main train station is your uh, our commuter line. And I think, I mean, that might be a pretty good spot. Oh, there was one other thing I did, I'm sorry. I saw it in the edit, and this happens all the time. People um, people will sometimes mention things like, hey, how did you not see those icons flashing everywhere? How did you not see this problem you weren't addressing? 
And one of the things I didn't do is I built an off ramp. Did not build an on ramp, so I just sneak this in here real quick. This is definitely something that we're gonna gonna revisit down the road and clean up. Um, but uh, but that that should be all that you missed. So I want to kind of put this down here. I'd love to get it like right next to that train station, but the the highway's kind of in the way there. Um, wouldn't be bad to kind of build it into the center of the city here, but then I'd really need to rework uh, my train routes there. So let's drop it on this end block. Let's see if we can, where is the pillar down there? I just want to make sure I've got room to, to snake the highway in. Or not the highway, the, the train tracks in under the highway. So let's see what that looks like. We're going to have to take out a couple buildings here to do all this, unfortunately. Looks like I can get that under there okay. Let's curve this out and around. So let's go here. That should clear that okay. That works. And let's figure out where we want our train station to be at the airport. Now this one, I don't think we can do this on this circular loop. I don't know why I went to roads. I meant to go to uh, mass transit. Oh, it will let me do that on the circular loop. That's interesting. That may not be bad. If we could put it like right there next to the metro, that would be awesome. How close can we can we get it here? Can we do it on the other side? I can't I can't run the train tracks then, unfortunately. Um so we could do it there. Let's um Let's not though. Let's, we'll go to our roads and we'll build a little uh, area off of here. So right in the middle of this circle, we'll come out 10. We'll do a little, um, a little block here. Just give ourselves some room to put the train station on. We'll drop some more commercial or office space or something down there. And back to our train station. Let's get this as centered as we can. That looks pretty good. That works. Now, how do we get this train track over there? It looks like we can go under the highway. So we'll knock this back a bit. And we'll just kind of curve it out more naturally. So let's do that. We'll, we'll start from over here and then kind of connect it up. So if we had a train track that ran under here, get off curved, make sure that fits. That works. And then we'll go to curved and we'll hook these two up. And then we'll do the same thing here. We don't need to curve out too much. But we'll just do a nice natural connection there, I think. We can always move this around. This is just an outside connection right now. So as we start to build around this, we can you know, tunnel it under or um, make an elevated train over some certain areas. These two stops are a little close, I will admit. But that's okay. Those are definitely close. I might think about moving that actually down here or just negating this stop altogether and like putting a, an, an east and west side stations on this. But for right now, it's okay. I just, I want to commit some, some of the landscape to, to the trains. We're going to come out a few. I don't want to knock out too many buildings, but I want to curve away from the away from the city a little bit. A little bit of a dead zone there. We can fill it with some trees. We'll go to our straight tool. We will raise it up. Smooth of a slope as we can there. We'll come over. And then back to our curved and, and bring it up the, uh, the side of the city here. 
Okay, now where do we want our train station? Kind of central, I think, here would be the next, uh, next best stop. We'd love to throw it next to a metro if we have one already. So we can do that. Again, we can always slide these around later, but it's nice for people to be able to jump from one one city service to the next because they can get off the metro right here across the street get on the train station go around that way we're knocking out a, a fair number of buildings to do this but it, it's going to address some of the uh help address some of the traffic problems we have and it's good planning for the future because right now i'd like that to it looks like i over curved that a little bit i'd kind of like it to run more parallel with the city here We're going to go right by the station so that there's a bypass line. That's good enough. Always want, I know we talked about this way back when we did the, uh, the initial train setup, but you always want a bit of a bypass line so that if a train is not stopping at the station, it doesn't have to wait in line behind trains that are. So I can just drive right on by. This is a really steep slope. I kind of wish that I had purchased this uh, this over here so I could smooth this out a bit, but but we'll make it work. We're gonna have to knock out some of that uh, some of this neighborhood maybe if we wanted to connect it over to this line. We could tunnel under and come up over there somewhere let's see let's see how we want to do this part this is the tricky part so we'll do that part last um we're gonna do i i have some residential zoning over here where should we put this I could put it over here. We could come up over here. But I don't want it to be too close to the Kent Park station. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. So I don't think this makes sense to have in a, a low density residential area. Maybe we'll just rezone this all together. Okay, so we've got the other thing to, to plan for in the future is this train line is going to split off and come over to the uh, the cargo uh, the cargo port there, shipping harbor. Um, okay, sorry, sidetracked here, sidetracked. Lots lots going on in my mind right now. So let's curve this out. Oh, I should have done my uh, my straight path first. And then we'll hook into that. I wonder, do I want to do elevated? I'll do elevated here. I didn't even think of that, because what we can do here is we can have a little bit of uh, waterfront property down here that thanks to this nice low shoreline might be prone to flooding at some point. Um, but let's elevate this train track. See, because over here, I didn't I didn't elevate over here because over here, we're not going to be building off. This is not the last tile that we're going to be buying. That tile down there is the last one. So I don't really need to worry about building on the outside of this area. So elevated train isn't really necessary. I mean, it might 
be kind of cool if you wanted to keep the aesthetic, but I'm not too worried about that. This over here, though, we could definitely build underneath these uh, these train tracks and then on the other side of the water. So let's see if we can kind of run this parallel with the road. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then let's connect these back up. So we'll delete these segments. And curved. No, I did not switch to curved, apparently. Here we go. That's a little wonky. That's all right, we'll take it. We'll take it for now. We can, uh, again, we can fix that later. I, I really wanna get this in. Um, and get a rough idea. Worst case, if we if we overestimate the space that we need, we can always plant trees, add parks, zone off little extra areas. Um, while I'm here, though, I don't think it makes sense to have small little houses next to the train tracks. So let's actually dezone that all together. We could do a little um, hilltop residential neighborhood up there. That can be low density. That's just fine. We do have a commercial demand, so actually maybe I'll move some people out and make this a commercial block. That may make more sense on that, that more trafficked road. Sorry to move you all out. I don't want you complaining about the noise. We'll do uh, some, we'll do commercial over here. So we'll do low density commercial just here on the corner of this neighborhood. Looks like we missed a little spot here residential and then we'll do some high density commercial down this strip next to the uh next to the train station on the six lane road looks like somebody's just moving in too sorry let's see let's see how your house was cute little house i'll get lost <laughs> all right um so, how do we... Why do we lose power? We low on power? Because that, that is the edge of the grid. It's... Oh, I disconnected it because of the train station. We're, we're good. We're in the green on power for a while. And at this rate, we should be able to drop in the fusion power plant before we'll need another nuclear power plant. So, two plants, is it? Looks like it's going to get us through. I think we should be able to get the last uh, 8,000 population <laughs> with uh, with that much electricity to spare right now. We're also, uh, I, I don't know that I mentioned it, um, but when you build incinerator plants, you're burning off excess garbage and that gets turned into electricity as well too. So those can be really useful, but they pollute a ton, unfortunately. Um, but we're throwing them right here on the edge of town next to the... Uh, sewage plants, which are just kind of washing it all into the river, and sending it out to the ocean. So it is not our problem. Sorry, fish. Okay, so how do we link this up now? So we've elevated this little train track here. We want to bring it up and connect it up to this line. We might be able to we might be able to just snake it through there. Let's see if we can do that. Let's just try and connect a uh, a train track up there. If we go here, will it let me do that? It will. That's actually pretty good right there. I love that. That goes right above the dump. Fresh smells of the city on the way in. And then we can curve this this way. And go under the highway. And then this part we will run on the ground.
Can we connect that back up? Why is it not letting me? There we go. Okay. That works, and then we want to bring this part back around. So this is our outside connection. That doesn't necessarily need to go anything just yet. Do we go over? Do we do an elevated train? I think so. I think that's a good idea. You know what? No. We're going to stay on the ground. We're going to use this as a barrier. It's going to it's going to encourage me to kind of separate out my city zones a little bit, which I haven't been doing. I've just been kind of continuing this grid on forever, and it's not necessarily the best uh, idea. Okay, so we don't have power over at this station. Let's pause it for a moment. Why is this disconnected? It's just too far away from the bubble, I guess. So we'll just do this. We'll uh, we'll connect over here for now, because we can totally zone off this outside area. What do we need? We need commercial and industrial. What would be nice around the trains is maybe some... Uh, some easy to access jobs, some office space, maybe even a couple administrative buildings for the airport right here. We do need more commercial space, so we can do that here again. Some duty-free shopping right near the airport. Now this is gonna suffer from a lack of customers. So what we're gonna wanna do is maybe connect over on the other side of the highway a residential area and give them kind of an underpass to connect into this this little loop here um, to encourage some people to come in that way we could also even do maybe a little neighborhood over here but it's going to be close to the airport i don't know if they're going to be that thrilled by it um, but we can figure that out there there may not be enough uh, customers here but hopefully with with traffic coming in and out um, tourist wise maybe that will I mean, it certainly works in real life. I don't know if it'll work in the game, but we will we will keep an eye on that. Um, okay, trains. We do have this full loop now, or no, we didn't connect this part. So how do we link this up over here? And what do we want to connect it to? Do we want to bring it into Kent Park? I think that we do, so... I don't suspect that we can sneak something in there, can we? That would be that would be amazing. Let's see if we can get into the underground and connect that way. So if we go under here, we can see our underground tunnels. And I would like to connect it up to here. So let's see if we can do that. So we'll do we on curved, we're on curved. Space already occupied. What's it already occupied by? It's not letting me. Okay, let's let's go from over here. <laughs> oh, I was two under. Um, let's. We'll come up here. Let's just go right into the side of the hill. Will you let me hook in, please? What does it 
think space is already occupied because I have to... I have to come above ground where there's... Um... Man, why would that tunnel need to be so tall? Okay, let's get this as close as we can and then figure out how to connect it. So we'll do this. We'll come over here just barely across the street. We'll probably need to knock out a couple buildings to do this. So let's aim for right there. Hopefully we can just knock out one building. Let's try for that. We'll knock out that one building. And then we'll see if we can connect this tunnel. I don't know why I did that because I can do this all underground. <laughs> okay, how do we connect? How do we connect? Will that work? Is that connecting the tunnel? It is. Okay, good. Sorry about that. That took a little while longer than expected. Is this already full? Okay, let's solve that problem right now. We will pollute a little bit more. Throw a second dump right there. We'll throw some extra incinerators as well, too, since our incinerator usage is pretty full. We'll do some maintenance on our dumps and things like that on another episode. Okay, so now back to trains. Let's set up this train line. We'll do a quick look at our demand so that we keep uh, people employed, keep people moving in. So train stop wise, I think what we're going to do, we've got that that loop that goes. Whoa, OK, OK, uh, sidetrack here for a moment because uh, we've got to fix this. Do we not have good fire coverage up here? We do not. Wow. OK. All right, so that is unfortunate. Do we have a spot we can move this in without moving people out? I guess <laughs> I guess a good spot where we could drop it is right here. <laughs> um, I think you have to bulldoze these first. Can I get this in on the corner? I can't. Should I have done should I have done the bigger fire station? Let me see. Wasting money here. That is that overkill for farmland? Should I have gone with a smaller one? The the nice thing is, is like I do want to expand this out a bit, do some more residential, low density commercial. Um, there's more good farmland up here on the hill. So we can keep expanding this, and this will help cover a larger portion of this area as we expand out. Might even cover if we start building over here on the other side of the highway. So, okay, sorry, we had to uh, we had to address that. Back to the task at hand, which is the uh, the train routes. So we had previously built those what one, two, three, four, five stations into uh, into a line. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring people from the airport to this line, connected to Kent Park as kind of a, a central station for everything, and then uh, and then let people you know, switch lines, hop lines if they have to. So we'll start here. Did I not create new line? There we go. At a stop. We will come up over here. We'll stop at Kent Park. And then we'll loop back around over this way. And then complete our line. So now we've got a way for people to get from pretty much any area that's covered by Metro, which we need to do this area next and we can expand over here. But you can get from the Metro anywhere, changing trains, of course, down to the airport. And now the overland train coverage is pretty similar, it covers a lot of the map. We will want to bring the trains down here for the cargo. And trains across the river, because we don't have any above ground uh, trains for 
It's not necessarily above ground. You can run them underground. You know what I mean. The regular standard trains for uh, for Meadow Park and our little circular city over here. Uh, tons and tons and tons of demand. So maybe we could do a little industrial park over here. It looks like I'm I'm killing some great farmland over here by piling up garbage on it. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we can zone out something real quick. This is a nice little spot down here. We do have residential demand. Let's look at our zones and see what we don't have nearby. So there's commercial, there's office. There's a decent amount of residential. We've got a lot of dead zone here. We could fill this in with trees. We could do some, some smaller side streets in the middle. Um, where can we spin up real quick? Some more office park, maybe. What would look good? Could extend this out onto the other side of the train tracks. A bit of a dead zone there. Let's do that real quick. Because again, office doesn't mind the noise. So if we do this, we'll come over right about there. And we'll spin up a couple blocks back here and, and fill it in with some office zone. Uh, while we're here, we'll check our water coverage. Good thing I did that. And then let's zone this off with some office. This should move in really quick. Because we've got a ton of demand. Yeah, you can see they're already... They're already establishing their little plots there. And the nice thing about this is this is next to... Relatively near some transit options. Um, it's near residential so people can get to work. Um, they don't mind the noise, so we can build it right next to the highway here and the train tracks. We do have a ton of commercial demand. It'd be nice to build some more stuff over here. Again, train tracks, it's already going to be noisy, so we'll throw in a little commercial space there see what else we can do commercial block next to the dump in the nuclear power plant I don't know <laughs> uh, this is not zone so same thing we'll do some commercial down here in fact we'll just do a whole bunch of commercial over here and uh, revisit it if we run into the uh, the problem of not having enough customers it means we've just got to get some more residential areas nearby this does have a residential area nearby, so I think what would be, make a lot of sense is to build a, a residential neighborhood off here, connected into things like the metro. They've got the train station as an option, um, and a relatively decent avenue here that, that's not heavily trafficked, so this would be a good spot for one of our next residential neighborhoods. Commercial, though, is still the biggest demand. Hopefully what we just did will knock that down quite a bit. Looks like residential will probably be one of our priorities for the next episode. Um, and continued city cleanup and things like that. I think we'll be able to do one more episode here before we hit that 90,000 mark, at least one more episode, if not two. Um, our growth has slowed a little bit. Um, and, and part of that is just maintaining the city, keeping things moving, keeping people happy, making it so that they don't want to move out, so that they are uh, employed and well-educated and have good city services and entertaining things to do. Um, and we will continue trying to solve all those problems um, that are popping up here in the next episode. You'll see that uh, one of the things we need to look at is death care coverage. We've got to look at our uh, our cemetery coverage. I mean, we've got, we've got good cemetery coverage, but there's more people dying than this little, oh. <laughs> That's part of the reason why. We've been emptying this, and I just need to turn that off because it is empty now. So let's go in and look at that again. Because that'll probably clean up most of these uh, icons that we see over here. They're waiting for bodies to get picked up because there wasn't a, uh, a cemetery nearby that was uh, that was uh, picking anybody up. Um, we've got a dead body in commercial space. So we'll have to do another neighborhood over here somewhere. We'll have to figure out our next little residential plot. 
um maybe we'll come up over uh off of this ring and up over here or, or just do another exit right down the highway this isn't too heavily trafficked right now so if we did another exit nearby that kind of supports this uh this most southern part i think that would make a lot of sense and then we can do a little access road and, and do cemetery coverage over there so that uh the people at the airport just don't keep piling up bodies um but there's there's a ton of stuff to do still i think i i tend to get a little bored in the end game and want to start a new city but there's still a lot of stuff to do here um we will go through like i said at least one or two more episodes before we hit that ninety thousand population um we will then start to drop in the monuments and we have a ton of unique buildings that we haven't crammed in yet um, so we are super dense and super <laughs> super crammed in here and i'd like to start spreading out and that's why i did things like this i want to start creating these buffer zones we'll fill it with some trees and We'll save room for, you know, a stadium and we've got farmland we can fill in, cargo terminals, all sorts of stuff still to do here uh, before I hit the reset switch. Uh, do um, Keeping that in mind, though, at some point I will want to start a new city. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I was thinking of starting uh, a new snowfall map because I haven't really got much into that. I did a, a couple little quick guides on the, the kind of beginning part of the game. But since it is winter here in New England, wondering if anyone would want to see uh, snowfall. Then again, since it is winter where I'm at uh, and pretty cold out there, although today is unseasonably warm uh, in the Boston area, uh, what would be nice is to uh, live vicariously through the game and maybe do more of a tropical island-based build. And I've been looking at a couple of them. There's a really interesting map. Um, I'm forgetting the name of the map right now, but there are really small, tiny islands. There's virtually no space to build and it's a, a pretty unique challenge so if you'd want to see me build on something like that just for kind of a change of pace let me know again in the comments down below um do you want to see more of the the two maps that i've kind of done so far in the tutorials do you want to see something new like snowfall um something more difficult like the the small island maps with very little build space and lots of water i'm interested to know your thoughts uh, so let me know but with that out of the way if you did enjoy the video likes comments shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated if you're new here subscribe for more great game videos and lots more city skylines and while you're at it consider hitting the bell to get notifications because it's very easy for a small channel like mine to get lost in the shuffle until the next one though, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.